snuggle up. Yeah, I don't know that I'd call today ideal driving conditions, but believe it or not, the 911 actually whoop, uh, handles this type of snow pretty well. What? Oh, <laughs> this is my Russian friend, Stephen. Um, he's brought his C2S today and he's gonna drive my C4S. I'm gonna experience his car in the snow. And I, I know the C2S, having owned one myself, it's not too bad in the snow, especially in winters. What do you got on yours? Uh, Dunlop Winter Sports. Nice, so I've got the, uh, I've got the Pirellis on mine, so you experience the joy of the four-wheel drive. Mm. So we're gonna go for a spin, put the cameras on each car, give you our opinions on this uh, very snowy day. The snow, I don't know, what do you reckon? Seven inches? About there. Yeah, about there. All right, let's go for a spin. How sweet is that rear wiper? It, you know, it's really useful. <laughs> Okay, so Steven's car is a 997 uh, Cabriolet with PDK. Where's my glasses? Oh, I see fogged up. And as he said, winter tyres, but it's a real wheel drive. And, you know, this is the thing. Because all the weights in the back there, 911s are fantastic snow cars. You ready to roll, buddy? A common problem. Okay, so I got traction control off and we're away. Not too many other cars on the road today. Bye for on. A BMW! Woohoo! Go BMW! Crazy bastard. No rear wiper in this car. The tragedy. See, friends, this is why you need a rear wiper. Okay. Okay, build up a bit of speed to get up this hill here. No problems. Might get stuck at the top. Oh, no. We're going through. There we go. Round we go. It's basically a Humvee, this car. nothing a 911 can't do. Now to be fair I did own a C2S previously and it can't go everywhere. I did get stuck a few times but as long as the snow is not more than eh, four or five inches deep and the gradient isn't too steep you can pretty much get around in winter tyres. I'm good. Yep. Jeep trying to tow me. <laughs> he doesn't know. I'll be towing him in a minute. You ready, brother? I don't know. <laughs> Put that bad boy in first. We'll just drag up to the corner here. All right, all right. Run into me. Don't, uh, <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> hey, it's no fun unless someone dies. It's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> It's a conclusive win for you. I mean, I, I know you lose fairly often, so uh, you know. My manhood is good with losing. Stop some gas. I think the the key to having fun in the snow is wearing the right shoes. Okay, sit back in my car with my little Tui. Tui. Oh, it's a terrible day to be out in the roads, isn't it, girl? That's right. There's a clutch in this car. So as you'd expect, there's just an enormous difference in grip between the all-wheel drive and the rear-wheel drive 911. Um, and what that means is, you know, when I'm driving this car, I'm a little less hesitant to go onto a road that is really mounded up with snow. In fact, I'm not nervous at all. But 
you know, with the rear-wheel drive car, you're, you're always got the rear end out, which is a lot of fun. Uh, how the how the all-wheel drive system works is, is it has a tendency uh, to act like a rear-wheel drive car until it gets into the really thick stuff like that, and then it uh, it moves it forward again. But if you look, I'm just cruising along right now, and it's rear-wheel drive, and when I put my foot down, it starts moving more to the front. But as I've said before, what makes a difference here, of course, is winter tyres. You can't do this without winter tyres. Uh, All-wheel drive makes no difference at all if you've got the wrong tyres. Because you can't stop, you can't turn, uh, you have trouble getting going. Even with all-wheel drive, uh, it's, it's just a waste. And it can even be dangerous and harmful to your 911 if you try and drive in these conditions uh, with the summer tyres, because they just become rock hard. So here we go, we cut, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> just about lost it. Okay, we're coming to really thick snow here. Stephen's having trouble keeping up behind me. Uh, here we come. Yeah, I'd be really nervous about driving in this in this thick snow in Stephen's car. Okay, drop it down a second, and I'll plow the road for him basically. There we go, coming through. Yeah, in a condition like this, it really starts putting the power to the front wheels. Ooh, come on, baby. So there's a Toyota I've been driving in the last few days and it got stuck straight away in the snow because it's got all weather tyres on it. So yes, the all wheel drive Toyota Highlander couldn't cope with the snow, but the Porsche 911s had no problem. 